Oxford High School shooter is expected in court this morning for what's called a Miller hearing. So the judge will decide how the teen will be sentenced in the mass shooting case. Fox News' Erica Francis is live outside of Oakland County Circuit Court and has more on how this will work. Erica. Yeah, guys, so although no decision will be made today, a lot of eyes are going to be on this special hearing, and it is happening because according to the Supreme Court, a juvenile cannot be sentenced to life in prison without parole without having what is called a Miller hearing. As we know, juveniles are not treated the same as adults in any aspect of the law, and it goes back primarily to brain development. Ethan Crumbly pleaded guilty to four counts of murder, one count of terrorism, seven counts of assault with intent to murder, and other crimes for the November 2021 shooting. Crumbly was just 15 years old at the time of the crime. As for what the judge will consider over the next couple of days here, he's going to be looking at things such as the juvenile's home and upbringing, mental health issues and brain development. At the end of the Miller hearing, the judge will then set two dates, one to announce his decision and a second for sentencing. We caught up with defense attorney William Barnwell on Wednesday to learn more about what our Miller hearing entails. So if you're defense, you're going to be saying this is a 15 year old at the time. His brain's not developed. He's had so many traumatic incidences from his upbringing. If you're the prosecution, you're going to say no, even if he's 15, even if his brain is not fully developed, he knows right from wrong. He knows that he cannot take innocent life and he's reveling in his so-called fame, taking fan letters inside of the jail. Life without parole is absolutely appropriate. Now back out here live, it is important to note that today is not a sentencing that is going to be happening at a later date. The Miller hearing is going to be happening at nine o'clock this morning at the Oakland County Circuit Court. We've got Charlie Langton here. He's going to be inside of the courtroom bringing you the very latest. This could spill over into tomorrow and then possibly into Tuesday next week as well. So of course, stay with Fox 2 for the very latest. We're live in Oakland County this morning. Erica Francis, Fox 2 News.